Hey guys, I'm back with another beer review. And today, like promised, we have our Beery Christmas. You can see it here. Beery Christmas, the advent calendar with 25 beers inside. So we're gonna open the first box that's around it. Okay. Okay. I'm trying guys, I'm trying. Don't worry. It's a little bit heavy of course with 25 beers. And you can see who, who has uh, worked with it. I got it from Hopped. But uh, you can also get it at Saveur Beer, Hopped or the Beer Hawk. So that's where you can get this calendar. The advent calendar with 25 beers in it because they also want to celebrate Christmas time. Okay, so there are some beer mats inside to put your beer on then you have some information about the calendar because they put a lot of work in it i get to go a little bit down like this oh that's also nice the beer calendar batch but it's with a uh, a thing to get your caps off okay and i'm gonna try the Try to get it out guys, so you can see it. I might put it first like this. Okay, let's turn it around. Oh, something fell off here. And this is it guys with a lot of faces. I don't know who these, who these people are, but I think they have something to do with beer. Of I hope it has something to do with beer. Uh, come on, get out, get out you. Bastard. Okay, I'm gonna try to keep this as short as possible, but like I promised guys, I will do the three first beers because it's the third of, the, of uh, the December already. And uh, yeah, I did get it like yesterday or something. And then I already was two behind and now I'm three behind. So we're gonna do three. But um, first of all, I got to search for number one and two and three, of course, because there's nothing on it. It's actually a quiz you have to do and there are of course like little doors here and off behind each door, each door where you open it, there will be, an, will be a hint to open the second one and third and so on. And also a little bit more about a beer with foods that go great with that beer. So it's a, an amazing thing and I started my channel with this thing last year. And uh, that's how I started my channel. I was thinking maybe I do this calendar, this beer calendar, advent calendar for my uh, first time I was on YouTube because I had multiple beers, beers before, but I always wanted to do YouTube, but uh, like a review channel. And uh, this is, and not this one, but the one last year I started with. Okay, you can actually open it like a box here. You can see there's a, there, there's actually such a, such a thing you can pull back and then you can open it. Let's start. I, I don't know what, what's in there. Okay. So I got to read it guys. I got to read it and then tell you how all these things, all these things work because I don't really know. And I don't know where number one is or something. Here will be standing number one. So I'm guessing this is beer number one. We're gonna try it. I think we're gonna try it. It stands here number one like you can might see guys If you look really close, it will be standing here number one. So we're gonna try it uh, This will be number one then I hope And it's rather cold because I said it in my hallway and it's rather cold in my hallway So that's a good thing. Okay, this must be the first one. So okay Barden this one is cold and I, I can see the 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 label again, I'm, it's it's very noticeable. It's Thornbridge from the UK, and it's standing here, Thornbridge. But I know the label very well. Uh, English Pale Ale, coming in at four point five percent ABV. Okay, since two thousand and five only. I thought Thornbridge was existing a little bit longer, but okay. Uh, I don't know what will be on here. This will be the first one we're gonna do. Okay, I, I think I'm ju gonna <laughs> just get a glass and I use my Beery Christmas mats because I'm 
on my heater here for my pots and pans to heat them and it doesn't have a really huge head but for our English standards it's a rather regular one first on the nose guys cheers I get spices it is malty I get some yeah it's not your American hops in here I'm quite sure it's not American hops I think they use their their own English ones it does happen now and then more and more we also in Belgium do use with our beers most of the time Belgian hops because it's a really nice showcase and it's rather easier it's not that easier for us for us to get but again they can get really fresh ones maybe have they have their 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 own harvest uh, we have some like brewers in Belgium also microbreweries that have their own harvest their own small hop fields so that's a nice thing if you consider how much work it will be okay we gotta dive in cheers Uh oh, Watertown. I think it's Watertown. It's citrusy. It's a, it's like lemony. It has a little bit of that peach thing going on. Slight malty, but really not much to the taste. Okay, for an English beer, our Barden is a Barden is a rather nice, but um, no, I. I think it's it it feels really water town, but it has a more of a bitterness to it. That's a nice thing, but yeah, it's an English pale ale, of course. So English bitters, you know them the style, and it has uh, some of that bitterness, of course, in this one. Also a little bit sweet, malty, rather bitter. Fruity like I told you guys some lemon some grapefruity nose some peach more to to near to those things So I gotta run it up because I want to do everything quick But uh, I think I'm gonna cut them all now from now I will take out beer number two when I know how it works Hey guys, I did figure it out because this is a second take. It is the same day, but I want to do two and three, the beer number two and three from the beer Christmas. Like I know something about it, how it works. And now I know how it works finally. So this was door number one and behind door number one, there is a hint to open door number two. It also says this one, the Thornbridge one, the English pale ale coming in at, what was it again? 4.5% ABV. What was rather water town? I will give this a rating 5.5 out of 10. Um, you can see the opener. Oh, also, the beer will be served best at 8 to 10 degrees Celsius, and it pairs really well with roast chicken. That's the thing you need to try with this beer. So, there is an opener on here on beer number one. So, the opener will be here with this guy. You can see it, he, he's holding actually a big opener. So I'm gonna try to open this one. If I can see where I must be opening it. Okay, okay, okay. It comes ah, like here, okay. So this is beer number two guys. And it's a really well-known one from Dr. van der Korenaar from Belgium. So it's called Nou Nouveau Rich, Rich Nouveau Rich. And 6% by volume, uh, ingredients barley malt wheat, malt buckwheat and all the special beer because they are, it's a really special brewery, their, their tastes are mostly not up to my, I'm not a, yeah, I'm not a really big fan of this, but I have quite nice ones like the triple, was really nice, so they are from Barle Hertog in Belgium. We're gonna open it again. Look at the cap. Awesome cap. Okay, 
I am happy already it isn't a gusher. So this is beer number two. This is going to be a rather long review, but then again, I was behind, like you, know, guys, like you guys know. That's why I wanted to do three at a time. So here it is, Dr. van der Korenaar. Oh yeah. From Belgium. It has a murky yellow to brownish colors, like light brown. Really special color, orange a little bit. So we're gonna try it first on the nose. Cheers, guys. Really spicy. Oh my god. Really spicy. And this is the coriander. It's uh, something else, like it also says, yeah, buckwheat. That's just very lighting. <laughs> we have your, we have our book buckwheat waffles, like it's those really nasty things. If you ask me, like these really dry <laughs> things. Uh, okay, we're gonna try it. Cheers, guys. On the nose, you get the spices more. It is kind of fruity. Your berries. Bitter, now the bitterness kick, kicks in. It's really special again. It's daring to brew these things, but this one is a rather nice one. Although it is a little bit too spicy for me. You get your fruity notes to it. Um, yeah, it's really clear, crisp, re refreshing and fruity. There is the, the backbone is really fruity and rather hoppy. Crisp, clean, like orangey, some banana to it. Uh, rather nice beer. Okay, we're gonna try now number three already because I don't want to waste much time. So, this beer is best served at six to eight degrees and goes really well with, if I can read it, soft fresh cheese. Okay, soft fresh cheese. And here again is something I don't know. It looks like a bottle with some core to it. I don't know what for this, but uh, mm. we're gonna search for it. It must be somewhere here on this calendar, but where? That's a hard thing. This guy. You can see it here, he's holding this thing, and then it goes to here. Yeah, there is some. I think it's some homebrew or something. Yeah, he's, he's brewing himself something because the carbonation will go off in this tube. Okay, we're gonna open it. Where does it, the eyes ah, need to be open from from above? Uh, okay, another beer, of course, a new one. And this is one I haven't seen it before. Amber Lager, Dominique, between these hooks. Um, this thing I can't read. I don't know. Wait, there is something. Brewed for Savior Beer, Hopped and Beer Hog. Especially for this calendar. I'm searching for the beer, but... Oh, it has that O to it. That, oh, it's it's going to be from Sweden or something. Wait, it must be somewhere here. So the cap. Uh, we're going to do it in this glass. I rinsed it really well. And cleaned it very well. I get an amber colored one. So, okay, that sounds. Uh, yes, yeah, it's, oh, it's like a ruby red one. Like, really see through. Uh, okay, first of all, those cheese guys. Hmm. I don't get that much on the. I get red berries on the nose. Like your strawberries. We're gonna try it. Cheers, guys. Really smooth drinking. Again, crisp and clean. And I think there are some berries in there. Definitely vanilla. There is rather a lot of vanilla in here. But it's, it has a Pilsner feel to it, with some vanilla, and then your berries. Slight spicy, but not that much. Slight bitter, 
but also not that much, really in balance, a little bit Watertown, but still a rather nice beer. Oh, I got to give a rating for this one, Dr. From the Coronar, that one gets for me 6 out of 10, then this one gets also 6 out of 10. I like these uh, beers from the Beery Christmas, and they are all new ones, but, but except for this one, I have got this one, that one before, I'm quite sure of that. But uh, yeah, it's a really nice thing to have such a beer at Christmas. And now I have got uh, reviewed my three beers, guys. So you will be happy. I, I know how it works, and you guys also. And from tomorrow, yeah, to from tomorrow on, I'm just gonna do one every time because I can't keep up now, of course. So thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget, a beer day keeps up the rain. Cheers.